Welcome back to Fanshawe Learns. We are now in the interview segment of our show, and I am joined now by David Wilsey, who is a former member of the wheelchair rugby team. David, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Erica. So uh, you've just recently retired from the sport. Can you tell me a little bit about, though, your career before? Well, it's only a three or four minute interview, so I'll keep it short. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play uh, almost 18 years on Team Canada, traveling around the world, and five Paralympic Games, and I don't even know, is it 14 years as captain, and a lot of fun, uh, a lot of ups, couple downs, but uh, all in all, I wouldn't change any of it for anything. Very good. Sounds like you were very successful. Well, that is a secret, play on a good team. I mean, you know, uh, I'd like to think that I was a big part of it, but uh, it's true. We have a good, uh, good quality of, uh, you know, coaching and everything in this country and it carries over to the squad we put on the floor. And why did you decide to retire from the sport now? Well, like I said, it was five Paralympics in Rio and, uh, you know, it's just, it's not the game itself because that's actually not that hard when you put all the training in. It's the, the daily grind, the two-a-days, the training, and uh, just the nonstop wear and tear on your body. And um, I want a good quality of life after, so before it all fell apart, I thought I'd uh, get out, so that was why. And how has retirement been for you so far? Well, it's, it's a little boring, uh, to be honest, but uh, I, I miss, uh, I do miss it. Um, I enjoy waking up in the morning not sore. That's always nice. And, uh, you know, there's, it's not like there's not other opportunities or other things that keep me busy with work. And uh, I'm still playing locally and everything like that. So uh, I imagine by the time it's time for the first big international tournament, I'll miss it. But right now, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you're still keeping busy, even though you're not playing every day? Yeah, it's still a full day, like we were talking about earlier. I mean, it's just, uh, it's filled with different things, but uh, filled nonetheless. So. Um, I bet my brothers that I work with are happy I'm back a little bit more, but uh, I'm, I'm still on the road a lot. What are some future plans or endeavors that you have that you're looking forward to? Yeah, well, planning and myself don't go well together, so uh, playing it by ear, but uh, I'm definitely uh, looking at the coaching side and coaching aspect of it, uh, locally for sure, and, and Team Canada and everything on down the line. So, you know, the future is wide open. It is, it is. And yeah. uh, you're looking forward to everything, though? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I got to remember, uh, I'm not burning all the calories training, so I can't eat like I used to and that kind of stuff. You know, it takes a little while to get used to. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, thank you very much, David. And thank you for joining us. We'll be right back with more Fanshawe Learns.